Hi, my name is Maria and I'm going to be taking you through a tapping. Uh, this tapping is all about uncertainty and really releasing some of these limiting beliefs and fears we have around uncertainty and why it feels so sticky and scary to embrace it. Um, and to call in some better beliefs, some beliefs that serve us a little bit more and actually allow us to lean in and to trust and to believe that better things are possible. Because I don't know where we got this idea that uncertainty is worse than what is certain, that the unknown is somehow worse than what is familiar. It's like, it's like that saying, the devil that you know. For some reason, whatever we feel is familiar and comfortable is somehow better in our brain rather than something that is unknown. Because I guess we are wired to fear the worst. To It's our negativity bias that we are scared of things not working out for us, even though all evidence suggests that things are going to continue working out for us because they have up until now. We are here now. Okay. You are here now listening to or watching this tapping video. So you are okay. So the uncertainty so far has served you. So we're going to clear some of that gunk out so we can feel a little bit more relaxed when it comes to uncertainty. Maybe you're going through a big upheaval in your life with a lot of change. Maybe it's something a little bit smaller. Regardless of what it is, this video will still serve you. So let's get started. You're going to simply start by tapping on the side of the hand and just repeat out loud after me. I'm dealing with a lot of uncertainty right now. Maybe it is big life changes. Maybe it's on a smaller scale. Whatever it is, it feels really sticky and uncomfortable. It feels unsafe and scary. And it's scary because I worry that uncertainty is going to bring bad things to me. I worry that the unknown is going to be worse than what I already know. And also, I just really don't like not knowing. Maybe I'm a little bit of a control freak in that way. I want to know everything before it happens. I want to be fully briefed on the experiences that are coming my way. And this is probably a bit of a coping mechanism to help me feel safe, to help me feel prepared. But the thing is, knowing exactly what's going to happen in my life before it happens, it's really fucking boring. There would be no surprises left if I knew everything exactly the way it was going to happen. Like, would I really want to live a life where I knew exactly how it would all unfold? Probably not. I enjoy being surprised and delighted by life. I enjoy life showing me things being possible beyond my wildest dreams. I love when synchronicities and coincidences happen. I love when the unknown turns out to be better than my present. And so I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to release my fear of the unknown. I think it's time. And so even though for a long time I've feared the unknown, I still deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Because I know my fear of the unknown was just trying to keep me safe. And so I'm gonna say thank you 
to this fear. Thank you for your service. But I've got it from here on out. You're no longer needed. Okay, take a deep breath in. Hold it at the top and let it go. Just notice how you feel in your body. Maybe have a little wriggle through the shoulders. We're gonna go for a full round. So whenever you're ready, just tap on the points I tap on and repeat after me. I've been carrying this belief for a long time. That uncertainty is scary. That what is unknown is worse than what is known. That uncertainty is something to be feared. That I am ready to release that bullshit. I'm ready to clear it from my system. Release it at a cellular level. And to create space for better beliefs. Because what's really fucking cool about my brain is that I get to decide what I think. I get to decide what I make things mean. And most crucially, I get to decide what I believe. And so what if uncertainty is actually magic? What if uncertainty is the key to me living the life of my dreams? What if uncertainty were the edge of my comfort zone? And that whenever I encounter it, it's a sign that I'm stretching into a more magical life for myself. It's a sign of expansion. Because really when you think about it, uncertainty is also another word for endless possibilities. When we don't know when, how something is gonna unfold, that means literally anything could happen. And so why is it that I immediately jump to the worst case scenario? when the best case scenario is just as fucking possible. I choose to believe that uncertainty is endless possibility. I choose to believe that uncertainty is a sign that I am expanding. I choose to believe that uncertainty is the bridge to my higher self. And I choose to believe that uncertainty is what keeps life delicious and magical. Because I don't wanna know the ending of my movie. So maybe I'm just in that part where everyone is holding their breath, waiting to see what the main character does next. Will they trust and take the leap? Or will they let fear get to them? And I'm a badass main character. And I'm taking the fucking leap. I'm choosing to befriend uncertainty. Because uncertainty is my ally. Uncertainty is my ally in expansion. 
uncertainty is my ally in stretching my idea of what is possible for me. Uncertainty is my ally in adventure. Uncertainty is my ally in building a delicious life that feels expansive, joyful, and fun. And so even though I've been fearing it for a long time, I still deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. And I'm ready to see uncertainty as my friend. Take a deep breath in, hold it and release. I hope that felt as juicy and delicious for you as it did for me. Um, and if you have anything you wanna share with me on how that went, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have any request, requests for other videos on tapping, please also drop them in the comments. I am creating these just because I am enjoying sharing the magic of tapping. It has helped me so much on my growth journey and I just really want to spread the word about it. It is such a powerful practice. If you feel like this is still a bit of a sticky one for you, maybe come back and do it again. There is no cap on how many times you can do a tapping. Really, you can do it as much as you like until it doesn't resonate anymore. That is a sign that something has shifted. So I wish you a beautiful rest of your day, wherever you are. And I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Mwah.